Good morning. Please be seated. Before we start the ceremony today, we have a special presentation that was prepared by the faculty of Oswego High School. Please enjoy. I boys, you did a great job this year. In spite of it all, you walked strong. Congratulations, good luck on your future. And remember, once a buck, always a buck. Congratulations, class of 2021. You should all be so very proud of yourself. I am proud of each and every one of you. The future belongs to those who believe in their dreams. So Bucks, never stop believing. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. I hope you were all full of pride today knowing how much you've accomplished to be here. I am so proud of you and excited to see you get out there and start chasing your dreams. Remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. Go do great things, Bucks. Congratulations, Bucks, on a job well done. I would like to leave you with this quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He once said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Go Bucks. Yo Bucks, congratulations on everything. I'd like to share one last quote, just so a few of you can roll your eyes one last time. The late Jim Valvano once said, you have to have enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream, a goal, and you have to be willing to work for it. Go find your dream Bucks and make it reality. Congratulations, everybody. Hello seniors, I want to say congratulations on making it and you did it and I'm proud of you all. Best of luck in the future and I look forward to hearing about all your future accomplishments. Hello class of 2021 and congratulations on such a wonderful accomplishment. You've been through so much over the past year and a half and despite the challenges and uncertainty, you've handled it better than most people would. Your resilience will help you achieve your goals as you embark on this next adventure. Best of luck and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for each and every one of you. Bye. Congrats to the OHS class of 2021 graduating seniors. I'm Mrs. Gills, your senior class advisor. Definitely not the senior year that I thought it would be for all of you, but you did your best with it. And now you are graduating and you are on to new things. Congrats and best of luck. Congrats class of 2021. Good luck in everything you do. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of all of you for making it to graduation. As you move forward, I wish you all the best. And remember, be kind to yourself and others. Hey, seniors. Mr. Richardson here. Congratulations. This has been an uh, interesting year, but you did it. Well done. Remember, you are what you do, so do great things. Hi, everyone. This is Mrs. Subert. I am so proud of you all, and I wish nothing but the best for you in this next chapter of your lives. No matter what you do, remember, work hard, be kind, and try to leave the world a little better than you found it. Congratulations, class of 2021. Seniors, you made it. And I'm so proud. You should be proud. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy this day. And never stop believing in yourselves. Best of luck. Congratulations, OHS seniors. We wish you the best of luck in your future. Hey, Buccaneers. I hope you have a great summer. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments. And remember to stay buck strong. Congratulations, graduates. Felicidades y buena suerte. Hey, seniors. I wish you the best of luck as you begin your new journey. Remember that you are the author of your life story. As you begin writing this new chapter, always show kindness and strive each and every day to make yourself proud of where you're headed. Congratulations on your high school graduation. Have a great summer. Congratulations, seniors, class of 2021. We are so proud of you and excited to share in your graduation celebration. Um, job well done. It's been a crazy year. You lived through history and 
You're on to bigger and better things. Good luck in the future. Hi seniors, congratulations on your high school graduation. You should all be so proud of yourselves. The second half of your high school years have been anything but what you probably expected walking through the front doors four years ago, but focus on all the positive ways you've grown. As you walk across the stage today, don't forget about who and what have shaped you into who you are today and continue to have an optimistic outlook moving forward through life. You've got this. Enjoy your summer. Congratulations, OHS Class of 2021. This is Mrs. Roman. I am so proud of you. Today is about recognizing all of your hard work. Enjoy it. Now go out into the world and make your mark in the most positive way. Best wishes to all of you. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Hi, Class of 2021. This is Mrs. Carroll, School Counselor. I want to congratulate all of you on your graduation from high school. No matter what your future goals are, know that hard work is the most important thing to help you reach them. I wish you the best. No matter where you end up, do not forget where you came from. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Enjoy the day and be so proud of what you've accomplished and be sure to thank all of those people around you that helped you get to where you are. Good morning, Class of 2021. This is Mrs. Morse. Congratulations on your graduation and everything that you have achieved over these last four years. I am proud of you for so many things, but especially for your perseverance. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish in the future. This is really just the start. We now invite the senior members of the Chamber Singers and their director, Mr. Robert Dumas. They will lead us in the performance of the National Anthem in the Oswego High School alma mater.
Thank you, Mr. Dumas and students. Please be seated. I am Patrick Wallace, the Oswego High School principal, and it is my absolute, absolute honor to preside over our ceremony today. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Dr. Mathis Kelvin III, the Oswego City Schools Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Kelvin. Good morning, everyone. Let me say it one more time. Good morning, everyone. Ah, oh, so good to see you all. Isn't this absolutely wonderful to be in this excellent arena this morning, not in the rain, but celebrating all of our graduates together? Wonderful this morning. This morning is a fantastic day. I'm so excited to be here. I must say that as your superintendent, it is a pleasure to be here. I want to start this morning by not only welcoming you all to this commencement ceremony, but also making sure that we give thanks and honor where it is due this morning. Today, we have a number of people who are with us. Not only do we have our graduates, who we will celebrate this morning, but we have some very important guests with us. First, I'd like to thank each and every one of our parents and guardians and celebrate you this morning. Can we give all parents and guardians a great round of applause this morning? Congratulations to all of you on this wonderful day. Today, we also could not be here without a staff who not only cares about our students, but who do a fantastic job as well each and every day. So I would like to start by honoring all of our teachers and all of our non-instructional staff, support staff this morning. Can we give them a round of applause this morning? We also want to honor and, and thank today our administrators who are here with us this morning. We have a couple also in the audience, their hard work, their efforts certainly are appreciated. Can we please give them a round of applause this morning as well? To our Board of Education, who is committed to ensuring high quality education and supports for all of our students, can we also celebrate them this morning? Thank you all. Thank you. Today we have a number of staff that this will be their last ceremony. Dr. Sweeney, if you can share with help us. This morning we want to make sure that we honor them today uh, because this is, again, their last ceremony that they will be with us because many are moving on to retirement. So Dr. Sweeney will read their names and then we'll celebrate them. Good morning, everyone. Our faculty who are retiring as of this year include Wendy Allen with 31 years of service, Lori Bradway Vega with 36 years of service, Heidi Conlon Sheffield with 14 years of service, Alan Hallett with 30 years of service, Cheryl Irwin with 41 years of service, Lorraine Ketchup with nine years of service, Deborah Natoli with 15 years of service, Kathleen Schaefer with 29 years of service, Sari Spedding with 21 years of service, and Kathleen Zaran with 15 years of service. Those are our professional folks who are retiring this year. And our support staff who are also retiring this year, William Caulfield with 13 years of service, Francis Cogswell with 18 years of service, Anne Marie Clark with 23 years of service, Ann Dellis with five years of service. John Edwards with 29 years of service. Christine Favada with six years of service. Sherry Fry with six years of service. Andrew Germain with 30 years of service. Frank Germain with 18 and a half years of service. Sharon Germain with eight years of service. Susan Komrowski with 32 years of service. Pamela Kranz with 35 years of service. Marie LaTulip with six years of service. 
Linda Mott with 24 years of service, Mark Pryor with 34 years of service, David Smith with 16 years of service, Paul Sullivan with 34 years of service, Patricia Thompson with 12 years of service, and Diane Woods with 13 years of service. We so thank you all for your dedication to the Oswego City School District. And we have two others that we would like to recognize this morning. First, the principal who has been with this graduating class since they began at Oswego High School, and that is Mr. Patrick Wallace, who will be retiring this morning, or this, this week, this upcoming week. Thank you, Mr. Wallace, for your service. And also, we don't want to end this ceremony without celebrating one of our board members who has been a board member now for nine plus years, Ms. Kathleen Allen, who will be uh, moving on to better things. But we want to thank her for all of her service over these last couple of years, these last nine plus years. Can we give her a round of applause as well this morning? So let me begin again this morning by sharing that as your superintendent of schools, I am so very proud of each and every one of you uh, today. And today we are here to celebrate you, the class of 2021. As I look out amongst this crowd, today I see so many bright, intelligent, and strong students who are now getting ready to transition into adulthood. To add to this, I must share that I am excited and enthused by the wide range of potential that is sitting before us here today. In this class, there are young people who will go out and I believe will change this world for better. Amongst us today are our future lawyers, our doctors, our IT specialists, nurses, psychologists, politicians, plumbers, electricians, engineers, educators, and so much more. Throughout this week, I've spent some time, by the way, reflecting upon several words that were recently shared with me by a colleague of mine by the name of Ms. Sue Green, who is also a school superintendent here in the state of New York. Recently, she penned a phenomenal message to her students, which I believe sums up exactly what it is that I feel for you today on this momentous occasion. She shared with her graduates, which I will share with you right now, that throughout the last two years, your high school career has taken various twists and also turns due to this worldwide pandemic that we are now coming out of. While we were all challenged by the various traditions that were missed because of this pandemic, you all together demonstrated that we can still accomplish much even in the face of adversity. You've shown us that you have the ability to endure, to be strong, even when things feel disappointing and somewhat unknown that you can face difficulties with courage, with tenacity, and with humor. That you've learned that in tough times, so many people, including yourselves, can display creativity and find a way to enhance the lives of others. And you've demonstrated that, that you have learned uh, what it means to stretch even your own abilities as both you and your teachers were able to switch so quickly to a mode of virtual learning with no warning or no other choices to do otherwise. You have all demonstrated to us that you are resilient, that you can endure hardship, that you, while enduring a worldwide hardship, you can learn to move forward while also learning new ways to do things when a door has been closed before you. You have learned about appreciation for things in your lives and your daily routines. This, excuse me, things like morning greetings full of noisy hallways, a handshake or a pat on the back, having lunch with friends and gathering together and to talk and laugh, a hug as you leave or arrive home, enjoying athletics together, singing together, and just giving a friend a hug whenever it was needed. Now listen, as you prepare now to take the next step after graduation, our hope for you is that you will take all of what you've learned to help guide you in your path forward to a job and or a career that is rewarding and also satisfying. With that, I encourage you to do the following. First, take good care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Find balance between work and fun. 
take pride in the choices you make and find joy in your life. Number two, find ways to serve and to give back to your community and to support and enrich the lives of others. Number three, continue to find time and ways to keep learning. The late Nelson Mandela said, a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. But when you add to that a literate tongue and pen, then you have something that is very special. And lastly, I encourage you, please, to come back every now and then and to support this learning community. Never forget, once an Oswego Buccaneer, always an Oswego Buccaneer. You have a bright future ahead of you, and you are equipped to do your best and find success, perhaps better than those who have gone before you because of what you have experienced over the last two years. You have gained a deeper understanding to what it means to be buck strong. And I, for one, am encouraged by all of you, as I do believe that you are fully prepared and life ready. And so I end my time with each of you today saying to you, please know that the Oswego City School District extends to you a heartfelt congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Well done, class of 2021. We wish you the very best. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Calvin. The Oswego community is most appreciative of the time and energy that our school board members invest in our students and our school district. Please joining, join me in welcoming Mrs. Heather Del Conte, school board president. What a privilege it is to address the class of 2021. Like the class of 2020, you join an elite group of high school graduates in this country whose transition into adulthood was dictated by world and national events. And if we let history be our guide, these tested generations, like yours, have produced many of our national heroes, some whose names we know well, who are immortalized in our textbooks and on marble platforms. But for every hero who has found their moment of greatness captured by world and national attention, there are millions of others who have made choices that although never publicly acknowledged, indeed qualify them for the halls of greatness. So what is greatness? According to Merriam-Webster, greatness is the distinction of being markedly superior in character and quality. Ironically, there's no mention of the number of friends a person of greatness has to have on social media venues, nor the amount of engagements required in response to his or her posts. Each and every one of you will walk paths that have the potential to lead, lead to greatness, and there'll be a choice to make. Whether that choice distinguishes you as a person of markedly superior character is completely your decision. For some of you, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. At a young age, you've already chose to not allow circumstances and hardships to limit or define you. You've consciously mustered past the defeating forces of unfairness, financial limitations, loneliness, chronic illness, anxiety, bullying, or other challenges beyond your control. You have nobly earned your place here today, and we salute you. Allow your inner strength and the resilience that got you this far to guide you forward. Maybe others of you have experienced your first moments of greatness in the hall or cafeteria, on the bus, through a concerned private text message or a phone call, making the unpopular choice to stand in the gap for someone who needs to feel the strength of compassion, as opposed to following the loud and often exclusive voice of popularity. We also honor you. Your courage and empathetic vision have the potential to literally change lives. To all of you, be assured your life's journey will be marked by many of these character-defining forks in the road. Difficult decisions that, when made, begin to illuminate your true self and qualify your greatness. Every graduating class that has come before you and sits where you are think they will change the world. The truth is, they have. Whether those changes have pushed us in a positive direction or not, 
often has very little to do with the people in each generation whose tremendous accomplishments were significant enough to be added to our history books. Although their contributions are certainly important, I can assure you that it is this, the decisions made behind closed doors, inside homes, between coworkers in a workplace, in college dorms, and on training bases. Decisions about how you will, will relate to another person, about moral perspective, about what you will prioritize. Decisions that juxtapose self-sacrifice with personal gain and self-protection with service. It is these often private and unadvertised decisions that will define you and collectively all of us. Incidentally, they will also dictate the level of satisfaction you glean from your precious life. Byproducts of a life dedicated to greatness that is distinguished by being markedly superior in character and quality are a sense of purpose, contentment, and joy, even amidst trial. Life will always pose challenge and hardship and unpredictability, as all of us have learned. But a life dedicated to this concept of greatness will not rely on the accolades of others to persevere, because true greatness comes from within. And being great in this sense is its own reward. In a time when social media is promoting facades of perfection and reinforcing disingenuous relationships, we need heroes, not driven by popularity and self-promotion, but whose decisions and actions are inspired by an inner commitment to truth, honor, meeting the needs of others, and the pursuit of markedly exceptional character, especially when no one is looking. And in the event you get it wrong and regret choices of the past, there's good news. Forgiveness has the power to clean the slate. And until your last days, there's always another chance. So class of 2021, go and be great. And God bless you on your journey. Thank you, Mrs. Del Conte. Please welcome our next speaker, Alexander Loeza, the salutatorian of the class of 2021. Alexander Loeza. I am honored to be speaking to my peers in the class of 2021, as well as the wonderful faculty and staff of the Oswego City School District. Neither I nor the rest of this class could have made it here without the academic and social support from our teachers and the rest of the Oswego community. As a naive freshman here at the high school, my biggest goal was to fit in, to find my place. I'm pretty sure that I'm not alone in that sentiment. For the most part, I was known as that annoying kid, or the kid who skipped a grade, or the kid who's always running through the halls. Admittedly, these were all titles that I deserved, and I've come to terms with the fact that to a lot of people here, that's how I will be remembered. But to those of you who feel constrained by a label that may or may not befit you, as I did, I'd like to remind you that no matter what someone thinks of you, you have the power to prove them wrong. As a freshman, I began the year as a 12-year-old in the midst of 14 to 15-year-olds. I was weaker, shorter, and less mature than my classmates, and probably above the pay grade of my ninth grade teachers, who were expecting to teach young adults rather than babysit a child. But today, after a considerable amount of maturing, I found family in many different communities here, including quite a few musical ensembles, sports, and even some electives that challenged me creatively. In my mind, though, high school is just as much, if not more, about what you do after the ninth period bell rings. Do you go to practice and form personal bonds through the shared experience of grueling sports and running until you're nauseous? Do you go home and study an intriguing subject that a teacher introduced you to earlier during class? Do you have a job to secure money for your own future or help support your family? Do you just like to hang out with your friends and escape the world of notes, tests, and quizzes for a bit? We all had certain routines throughout high school that defined our experiences more than the classes on our schedules or the grades on our mid-year report cards. However, unless you missed the memo about the raging pandemic that forever changed our world, your routine likely changed drastically in March of 2020. This past year especially has shifted my idea of what a high school education is. At first glance, it's a collection of 45 minute periods of writing notes or circling letters on a page, or even the occasional class discussion with a few minutes in between to roam the halls. 
but this past year turned the traditional high school day into a faint memory. After months of online classes, seeing a teacher outside of their natural habitat on my computer screen is almost as jarring as seeing them at Walmart. The pandemic has had effects much more far-reaching than the structure of the school day, though. It forced us to isolate ourselves from others and reflect on our own goals, desires, and regrets. It took away what we took for granted, and often more than that. But we refused to be defined by the circumstances that were given to us. We continued to learn, to study, to create, and to play. A part of me misses the bustling hallways and the loud roar of 150 simultaneous oh God, <laughs> conversations at lunch. But the adaptability of this class was truly put on display this year. Instead of yelling jokes across the classroom, we typed in our class chats, hoping our teacher doesn't get too mad. Or instead of covering our faces with a folder, as we fall asleep learning about an obscure current event, we turn our cameras off, hoping our teacher doesn't get too mad. Such ingenuity. I hope that we can all look back on our experience with some pride, because it shaped us into the people we are today. And while I'm the first person to admit, I don't really know what to expect for the next few years. I have no, I'm just as certain that I can't wait to find out. I have no doubts that this class will go on to do amazing things. And I'm excited to be here as we celebrate the beginning of another part of our lives. Thank you and congratulations to the Oswego High School Class of 2021. Thank you, Alexander. Our next speaker, truly dedicated to her academic endeavors and has earned the honor of being recognized as one of your academic leaders. Please join me in welcoming Ava Clunan, our 2021 Bell Victorian. Hello and good morning, Oswego Board of Education, administration, faculty and staff, parents and families, and perhaps most importantly, the OHS class of 2021. I am beyond thankful to have the opportunity to speak to you all in person as one united class, especially given how crazy the year has been. Not long ago, I was a bright-eyed 12-year-old sitting right across Buck Boulevard at my sixth grade moving up ceremony. Go lay in. <laughs> I remember after the ceremony, they led our grade out to the courtyard and we sat crisscross applesauce as they read us, Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go. It was a sweet, symbolic gesture, but I was quick to dismiss the sentiment. I knew exactly where I was going, two miles up the road to Swiggle Middle School. I thought that the clothes I was wearing would always be in style. I thought that the hue of my nail polish would always be my favorite color. I thought that the friends I was sitting next to would be my friends for the rest of my life. Oh, the places you'll go? I didn't need to go anywhere. But as I matured, I began to realize that maybe Dr. Seuss had a point. Personally, I have never been the greatest at welcoming change. Up until March 2020, my schedule, as well as many of yours, I'm sure, was filled to the brim with activities from sunrise to sunset every single day. I was always on the go, never home, running around for the sake of productivity. So when our two-week vacation in March hit, I was somewhat lost without my busy schedule. I didn't know what to do with my time, didn't know what my purpose was, if not to fulfill tasks for 17 hours a day. It forced me to genuinely slow down and reflect on myself as a person, aside from school or sports or friends or anything. I feel as though such a period of reflection is essential at this point in our lives as we figure out who we want to be. For the first time in 13 years, these decisions are completely ours to make. So, as you sit here today, in front of a plethora of people praising you for all that you've done, trying to guide you through this next big step, Take a moment and soak it in. No matter how much or how little you've struggled to get here, no matter how you're feeling at the moment, no matter what your plans for the future, you right now have accomplished something extraordinary and you have a lot to be proud of. So here we are, we made it. We have identified mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell and Y equals MX plus B our way towards being fully prepared and life ready. We've gone through the OHS experience survived trekking through snowstorms, OHS tea pages on Instagram, 
late nights cramming assignments, and a literal global pandemic. Now there's something our parents can't top. It's moments like these that characterize a high school experience that, as cheesy as it, cheesy as it sounds, shaped us into the people we are today. For years, people have told me, half-jokingly, that I would be up here giving a speech on graduation day. To my surprise, when I initially sat down to write this speech, I was at a loss for words. So, I did what any other high school student would do, procrastinate. I spent the week mulling it over, thinking, what could I say that could encompass the entire high school experience? Truthfully, I don't think there's an answer to that. You can either spend all of your time worrying about the uncertainty of the future, or you can focus on growing as a person right now, so that way you'll be better equipped to deal with what the future throws at you. There's a quote I heard when I was about seven that has stuck with me ever since. It is from someone very wise, sophisticated, and illustrious, Taylor Swift. In one of her songs, she says, today is never too late to be brand new. So, as you go forth into this unfamiliar future, I think it is valuable to remember that there's always time to chase your aspirations. The right path is almost never the easy one, but I have faith that someday we will all find the path that makes us happiest. Change is a scary thing, even scarier than the four years ago today in your Snapchat memories. But unlike our cringy selfies from freshman year, change is a great thing and the sole thing that will help us find our true place in this world. Class of 2021, we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have reached the end of our SparkNotes summary. We have chosen our road as it diverges in the yellow wood. We have taken our bad deal and made a royal flush. As we go our separate ways out into the real world, remember to have some gratitude for where you came from. Because whether good or bad, literal or figurative, there are a lot of lessons to be learned from high school. I'd just like to take a quick moment to thank all those who have gotten me here my amazing teachers, friends, family, and the whole Oswego community. Your continued support was integral to my success and I cannot stress my appreciation enough. I would especially like to thank my mom, who was not only my biggest motivator and inspiration, but doubled as my best friend. All in all, although our high school experience may be complete, there is still so much more out there to look forward to, and I am oh so excited to see the places we'll all go. Thank you, Ava. Zeta Olson has been a very involved class leader. And I have no, and I've enjoyed knowing her over the course of this year. Zeta Olson is the senior class president. And Zeta has had the distinction of serving as a student representative on the Oswego City Schools Board of Education. Please welcome Zeta Olson to this mic. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Wallace, and thank you to all the families, faculty, and Board of Education members who could all be here today for this momentous occasion. It is truly an honor to speak to you all. It's such a pleasure getting to see so many faces, especially considering I had no idea where we would be even two weeks ago, um, if we would be here all together, or on the football field, or if I would be making this speech. With all this uncertainty, I, like many of you, was frazzled. It felt like nothing was going my way and that everything was changing at a rapid pace and also somehow not changing at all. I'm sure you can all relate, not only in this past month, but, in the, but also in this past year, that it felt as if I had no grasp on anything solid, anything dependable. Writing the speech was challenging because there was so much to say to so many people, all of whom would be going on to vastly different paths than me. I could talk about the importance of kindness, my qualms with the public school system, creating goals, integrity, focus, high expectations. Trust me, I have a lot of drafts. Of course, all of these things have merit and are important to talk about. But how was I supposed to condense so many important messages into a well-worded, engaging, and inspiring speech in five minutes or less? The whole concept of it seemed so overwhelming and so impossible. And as I was writing my speech, cramming so many things into one Google Doc, I realized that 
I was just trying to please other people rather than attempting to say anything genuine and real. Pleasing others is something I, like many of you, have struggled with for my entire high school career. The clothes I put on, the way I did my hair, my makeup, I even changed my regular demeanor to be more appealing. Almost everything that I did was to ensure that other people would like me. Yet no matter how much time I spent doing this, I was never happy because it wasn't me. But a hard pill that I had to swallow was that most people did not care about these superficial things, no matter how much effort I put into them or how much I believed they did. It is a sad truth that what we have been taught is that the way we are perceived is the most important part of who we are. We spend so much of our time creating a version of ourselves for others that we never find out who we can genuinely be or genuinely are right now. So as you journey on from the walls of OHS, remember, you have ample time to discover yourself and what you want to do. However, that time shouldn't be spent micromanaging and stressing over things that, in the grand scheme of things, simply do not matter. A lot of the time, relinquishing the control that we think we have is a central part of growing and learning. When you're free from the expectations that others put on you and are faced with the reality that few actually care about these small things, you are able to do and explore what truly matters to you. Being free from the superficial allows you to create things of substance, and those things will make you happier because your fulfillment and success is not something that is quantifiable. Recognize at this proverbial crossroad in your life that you are in a beautiful and unique place, one where you don't necessarily have to turn left or have to turn right. There's a vast amount of opportunity in front of you with so much possibility. So embrace this new chapter in your life full of learning and growing with open arms and an open mind. Because a lot of the time, the moments that are the most memorable and the most precious are the ones we least expect. Thank you and congratulations to the OHS class of 2021. Thank you, Zeta. It is truly an honor to stand here before you all today as the principal of Oswego High School. I've had four years to get to know the 2021 graduates. And it's been a journey full of learning, of fun, of excitement, of stress, and of sadness. I'm sure you've all had experienced each of those feelings this year too as well as many others. That is part of your personal journey, the journey that carried you to this day of your high school graduation. Some of you started your school career in kindergarten right here in Oswego. Some of you came to Oswego in elementary or middle school, and some may have started Oswego during high school. No matter when, you all sit here today, having achieved the milestone of the high school completion together. You have worked hard, you have taken steps to meet the requirements, and you have earned the right to call yourself an Oswego High School graduate. That is something that cannot be taken away from you. Be proud of that. Own your success. Boldly move forward. Take action that will make your life better. While this day is about you, you did not get here alone. You probably identify at least a few people, some who may be in this space today, who have been instrumental in helping you to achieve your goals. No one does it alone. There are many people who have been there behind you, beside you, supporting you in ways you have not even been made aware of. A teacher who noticed you needed a little bit more time, a little bit more motivation, and found a way to make it happen. A friend who stepped aside and let you shine when you were nervous or scared or unsure. A family member who saw talent you did not recognize in yourself and encouraged you to explore new ideas and activities. Perhaps even a stranger who gave an encouraging nod when seeing you struggle. In this big, big world, it is often the small things that make the biggest impact. They took action and had an impact on your life. Never forget that. Find ways to be that person for someone else. Find a way to take action for others. So, 
what comes next? Must, it might be a question you've been asking yourself lately, perhaps a lot. In fact, you may be asking it of yourself. To those of you who know what comes next, be it college, trade school, travel or work, or the military, congratulations. You have set a course with one direction that will change. To those still figuring out what comes next, congratulations. You are still working towards those next steps, whatever they may be. But they too will change. No matter how much you plan, how much time you spend perfecting your plan for the future, it will change. You make mistakes, you'll change your mind. You will work harder than you ever thought possible. When changes or obstacles happen, you'll have to take action. The action you take will direct what comes up next. You will have to decide what's right for you. So graduates, repeat after me. Once a buck, always a buck. Oh, come on. Once a buck, always a buck. One more time. Once a buck, always a buck. Awesome. Congratulations. Before I, we begin the presentation of diplomas, I ask that you continue to be considerate of our graduate and those, graduates and those around you and recognize that this is a momentous day and each graduate deserves to enjoy their own moment of success. And now I ask the superintendent of schools, Dr. Calvin and Mrs. Delacante, Board of Education President, to please stand. Mrs. Delacante, Dr. Calvin, on my recommendation as principal of Oswego High School, located in the Oswego City School District, I hereby certify that students receiving diplomas today have fulfilled all the requirements of the Oswego City School District's Board of Education and the State of New York Board of Regents. At this time, I ask the 2021 graduates to please come forward. Ava Clunan. Alexander Luesa. Zeta Olson. Kyle Famolo. Amelia Rastley. Melanie Solano. Joseph de Blasi. Gretchen Dowd. William Adkins. Julian Allen. Robert Allen. Sierra Elizabeth Allen. Alfonso Alonzo. Sonia Anderson. Jack Anzalone.
Vanellis Aponte Flores. Thomas Back. Lauren Bailey. Nathaniel Baker. Ryan M. Bakos. Austin Bannock. Haley Bandla. Darian Stephen Barber. Ryan D. Bartlett. Connor Beckwith. Cameron William Allen Beach. Morgan Elizabeth Benzing. Skyla Eva Bigwich. Emily Oliveira Blake. Rachel Bloom. Jared Bove. Khadija Kalila Diamond Boyd. Dominic M. Brancato. Evan Brancato. Melinda Brancato. Carrie Brooks. Sophia Brosh. Ariana Brown. Jeremy Brown. Robert Brown. Mitchell Bruce. Austin Burdick. Matthew Callen. Raniel Y. Campos. Silas John Canfield. Tyson Jordan Capetta. Aiden Charles Carroccio. Jacob A. Carr. Austin Patrick Carroll. Brady Carson.
Eric Carson. Holden Carter. Quinn Carter. Joshua Casper. Madison Casper. Caitlin Casteldo. Megan Cheely. Matthew Peter Chaban. Jennifer Ciarla. Maxwell Clark. Sarah Elizabeth Clements. Janiska Cologne Molina. Isaiah Kramer. Lovely Dominique Croce. Mary Louise Culleton. Laura A. Cummings. Daniel Nathan Rise Davies. Olivia Ray Davis. Olivia Kate Day. Brandon Demling. Christopher M. Dempsey Ackley. Nicholas Joseph DeSacia. Joseph DeStevens. Donovan Devlin. Evelyn Grace Dickens. Ethan Joseph Dion. Derek Ditton. Colin Doze. Michael Andrew Douglas. Jasmine Digert. Craig Dykus. Emily Eastman. Lauren Taylor Elkin. Noah Robert Elkin. Caleb William Ellis. Daniel James Evans. Savannah T. Famolo Bennett. Hallie Phantom. Julie Phantom.
Audrey Lauren Flint. Cameron Ford. Sebastian Michael Fodi. Roland Armand Fratasha. Sierra Rose Freeth. Lauren Garofalo. Jacob David Garcia. Cassidy Rose Gazda. Haley B. Gill. Zachariah Gonzalez. Cassidy Eva Lynn Goodwin. Allison Kathleen Griffin. Angelina Guerrera. Anna Marie Guerrera. Chelsea Jane Gunther. Maya Gunther. McKenna Hamill. John Vernon Hammond IV. Sean Hampton. Brianna Harrington. Jarrett Harder. David James Harvey III. Alexander Haynes. Eve Hibbert. Kayla Hill. Audrey Hinman. Benjamin Hofer. Jesse C. Horn. Deacon Jacob Hosmer. Leon Robert House III. Justin Hudson. Ethan David Hunt. Toby James Johnson. Keon Johnston. Yeah. 
Madison Jones. Sarah N. Jones. Sarah Jones. Cole Joyce. Kimberly Coletta. Isaac Kanga. Jason R. Katzman. Taylor Kells. Joseph De Stevens, Donovan Devlin, Allison Ketchum. Lauren Elizabeth Kingsley. Haley Anne Marie Clawan. Jillian Canoop. Emma Kozell. Savannah Christine Croft. Morgan L. Cruel. Jordan C. Krupenbacher. Sierra Lacey. Daniel LaRock. Thomas Sebastian Lee. Benjamin Lewis. Samuel Lipke. Allison Lazat. Kayla Lodwick. Michael J. Loomis, Jr. Dominic Lopez. Alex B. Lacerdo. Christian Mab. Thomas Molesky. Emily Marino. Lacey Marino. Mia Grace Marsalo. <laughs> T. 
Taylor Marshall. Lillian E. Matthews. Tyler E. May. Tyler James Maynard. Nicole Rose Mays. Michael Myron McCann, Jr. Jacob McCarthy. John Gabriel McGee Laraquente. Bethany A. McLaughlin. Medasia A. McLaughlin. Mackenzie McManus. Roderick Zaneda Michelatis. Adam Michalski Jr. Courtney Jolyn Mills. Hunter Mills. Logan Mitten. Madison Grace Mosier. Serena Mucky. Connor Mulcahy. Dylan Munger. Tristan Munger. Ethan Keone Monk. Alexis Mertiza. James Victor Niger. Malachi Matthew Nunnally. Alyssa Orlowski. Tristan Evan Orr. Dylan C. Odding. Mona M. Atvos. Ryan. Douglas Palmer. Samantha Palmer. At this time, could we have a moment of silence in her memory, please? Thank you. Dimitri J. Papa. Robert Charles Peck III. Anthony Scott Pirapan Jr.
Rosemary Ellen Pitcher. Emily Powers. Cole Alexander Pratt. Cassidy Elizabeth Proud. Sophia Elaine Pulsifer. Jason Patrick Pertel. Aziza R. Reagan. Christopher S. Raymond. Dylan Thomas Redhead. Alexandra Pauline Reith. Angelin R.L.'s Riaz. Yaslin D. Mahia Reyes. Kyle Emerson Rice. Dominic Marshall Richmond. Ian Rogers. Noah Rogers. Constantino Rossi the fourth. Elizabeth Ann Rowan. Peyton Anthony Roy. Aubrey Ruggio. Gianna Ruggio. Michael Anthony Rutolo. Alexis Marie Rousseau. Derek Charles Sabatini. Morgan Sampson. Jenna E. Saunders. Seth Sawyer. Francesca Ann Scanlon. William Schneider, Jr. Jace Seguin. Trey Seguin. Ethan Shambo. Nathan Shannon. Cami Lynn Shaw.
George Edward Sheldon. Jacob Smith. Natalia Smith. Nathan L. Smith. Nevaeh Soper DeSantis. Angelina M. Souza. John David Spaulding. Benjamin Thomas Spedding. Maya P. Sprague. Ashley St. John. Dylan Stacy. Brandon Thomas Stanford. Spencer Stepien. Tiana M. Sweet. James Talamo. Aiden Taylor. Samantha Turpening. Aiden John Thompson. Matthew S. Thompson. Devin Tonkin. Hunter Brooke Topley. Juan O. Torres Algarin. Jaslyn Marie Tuttle. Maya E. Upcraft. Janessa Velasquez. Savannah Rose Wallace. Jack Warren. Mallory Grace Weigel. Mackenzie Westbury. Dylan Michael Wilder. Jasmine A. Williamson. Justin Cole Wilson. John Francis Winchek. Jared Yoder. Emily Young. Kirsten Young. Zahan and you.
Brian Zuber. Before we conclude our ceremony today, I ask that all family and friends please remain seated until the recessional is left before following the graduates. And now, I would like to ask our class of 2021 Vice President Kyle Famolo to come to the podium. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle Famolo, and I'm the senior class vice president. To the class of 2021, this is our last assignment we have to complete is to turn our tassels. And so without further ado, will all the graduate please rise. Now everyone, take your tassels and move them from the right side to the left side. Congratulations, class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, faculty and staff, family and friends, I now present to you Oswego High School's graduating class of 2021. 